Okay, thank you. Um, so as one of the affiliate organizations of APHA, uh, we are uh, one of the leading professional associations for people dedicated uh, promoting and protecting the health and environment of Michigan. Um, and we are celebrating 100 years this year and have been working to improve the public's health through political advocacy, public awareness, professional development, and serving as an interface between research and practice. Next slide, please. As an affiliate and as a member of the affiliate, I love the fact that uh, we're starting from within. Uh, we're asking ourselves some of those tough questions, looking at our organization um, and uh, looking at its structure, looking at the diversity, looking at the gaps and trying to understand uh, how to address these issues. Um, and, and we recognize from another presentation, I think during uh, one of the um, APHA sessions that, you know, you even have to know how to ask the questions to get the information that, you, that we want and recognizing that some of our materials don't go that far. So we're actually moving in that direction. Uh, next slide, please. These are some of our uh, legislative priorities, uh, eliminating racial disparities, racism as a public health crisis, supporting COVID-19 pandemic, public health funding, prevention and treatment initiatives, uh, educating and influencing pe uh, public health policies and supporting policies and best practice for tobacco control and other addictive su substances. Next slide, please. And here are some of the things that we're actually doing now. Four members of our MPHA um, team comp comprise the Michigan Health Equity Team of the National Leadership Academy of Public Health, um, cohort number 10, fellowship program for 2021. And in that uh, training, in that leadership program, we're addressing the social determinants of health um, and identified in the CDC Healthy People 2030 initiative. We also intentionally include topics uh, and speakers about health equity issues in our professional conferences, newsletters, uh, communications, and publications. And we're collaborating with other partners and organizations and getting to know who's at the table and who they represent and how we can include some of the work that's happening back in our communities in, um, include that in the work of MPHA. Next slide, please. And sometimes it's, it's um, as simple as just getting the ball rolling. So um, we had to add the discussion of racism and racial equity to the MPHA agenda. Um, and oftentimes it's not something that just naturally happens because it's not an easy thing to do. But um, the one thing I've always pushed at the table is um, just getting started, just, just being willing to have those discussions because I'm a firm believer that if we don't talk about issues, there's no way to work on solving the issues. Um, we're talking now about, um, I'm sorry, the, we were had the racial, the racism is a public health crisis resolution introduced to the table. And now our, um, MPHA board is looking at adopting a racism statement for uh, MPHA. Next slide, please. So what I will acknowledge is that um, there are still probably more questions than there are answers, but I'm excited that um, we are a group who are willing to uh, look for those answers and work on them. 